Hello, hello, beautiful wise people. Hope all is well. Hope you are well. Popping in randomly. It ain't Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just felt called to come in and kind of share with you all, hey, some updates of what's going on with me and um, kind of where I am on my intuitive wellness journey and share some updates what's coming on in the future. So I don't know about y'all. How have y'all been? How is your hearts? We are in the Virgo moon so it's my lunar return I feel like I want to cleanse and clean and organize and reorganize all things and that's what I plan to do that's kind of what I plan to do in these upcoming weeks and so that's why I wanted to get on and share some updates with you all um, on what's going on with me I have been I feel like in a whirlwind of um, things and emotions and um, opportunities and all of the things have been, I feel like this year has been a whirlwind. I can't believe it's April. Where did the time go? And since the beginning of the year to now, I feel like I've gone through a lifetime, <laughs> through many lifetimes, um, but in such, the in such a beautiful way. Um, yeah, as we head towards eclipse season, um, I can feel it. I can feel it really strongly. And I talk about some of my eclipse journey in my YouTube channel. And I hope to talk a little bit more about it and to share specific dates and times and periods. And kind of so you can kind of see the evolution from each eclipse time. But as we head up into the new eclipse and we have the full moon in Aries coming up and all of the things, all of the things I kind of just wanted to share and uh, just be transparent of what's coming on with me because I will be stepping away for a little bit. I will be going into hermit mode um, for a little bit. And as we are in this Virgo moon, the tarot card associated with the Virgo is the hermit, the hermit. And so it's time for me to go in hermit mode. I feel like I need time to process and integrate all that's been coming up and bubbling up within me. I have so many cool things that I've been working on that's been downloaded to me, ideas. I just finished up my Read the Room mentorship program with The Hungry Medium. So make sure that you check her out, The Hungry Medium, um, as she's, um, I think, signing up for her, opening up her wait list for the next um, mentorship program. So if you are intuitive and you're in business and... I highly, highly, highly recommend um, that mentorship. It was, it was beyond, like words cannot even describe how great it was. And it left me feeling confident in my intuitive gifts and um, knowing that I can win and I can conquer the world. And in order to do so, to maintain <laughs> some of that, it calls for me to step away. As a Virgo moon and rising, there's a reason why the hermit card is associated with Virgo because Virgos are constantly of service. They are constantly self-critiquing and critiquing others and seeing how to best help and make a situation better often leaves them depleted. So the hermit, in the hermit time, it's time for them to go into their inner cave, into their inner shelves to kind of integrate and to breathe and to um, kind of fill into some of those and to tend to their inner flame. You'll see the hermit in the traditional Rider Waits tarot deck carry, carry a lantern and um, going into like a dark space or a dark cave and tending to their inner flame and I feel like it's time for me to t tend to my inner flame right now y'all I have taken I've never taken this many naps I feel like in my lifetime but I've been taking so many naps and it's just been feeling so good and I think it's just um sign that I need to rest more and to rest my brain more because it's just been active I did um pull some cards because I want I, I don't want to pull cards it's not going to be a long live um at all but I did kind of want to just pull the energy of the hermit card and to see what popped up um and the card this is my mother tarot deck I believe such a beautiful deck but this is the hermit card that um showed up in that card so as you could see she, I feel like she 
is in just a place of incubation and rest. And because she's resting, even more downloads, even more intuitive insights, even more ways that she can help the collective is being illuminated, shined upon her now. Why? Because she is in that state of hermit. She is in that state of rest. And I feel like that's what this time is calling me to do, to be in that state of rest. And the cards that came before and after it before was the five of swords. So telling me that I may not have been tending to my emotional leads before and kind of just in competition like oh so many things have been competing for my attention and my thoughts and it's time for me to not only tend to my inner flame but tend to my family and as well we're about to head into summer season and I know it's going to get crazy busy and I just feel like I've been so focused on all of these ideas learning I haven't had time to spend intentional time with my family and so I'm excited about this hermit mode to do that so that when I come out of the hermit mode I can emerge as a six of pentacles giving and receiving that heartfelt value from a good centered place because I have rested and able to pour from my overflow into other people's cup in such a beautiful way so yeah that tending to that king of king of cups king of cups like diving into the deeps of my heart center and my emotion I don't know if you could see that little mermaid there but that's kind of what I'm doing is getting into that heart space and my deep heart space and stop ending up all right here you know Mercury which is my ruling planet is entering into Taurus I believe today so Mercury entering into Taurus just really speaks about slowing down and processing information in the comfort of your home you know Taurus is our home bodies they like to be home they like to feel all the senses and um, do all of that so I'm really excited to be intentional to slow down and to process all of the things I I'm in right in the thick of my luminary parenting course and that has been so amazing we talked in class today about tending to our natal moon understanding our natal moons before we even tap into our children's natal moon and i've gotten some really great insights and downloads on how the brain works and how we can kind of tend to um and mother ourselves and mother that inner child before we and um nurture our children so that's just been such an interesting journey that I've been going on so now it's just time for me to kind of mother myself and tend to that inner child within me so all of that to be said I um, am going to be putting on my do not disturb or out of office on IG here pretty soon and I really want to even not even try to go on if you follow me my, my stories I uh, try to post um story every single day even if it's just a quote but I'm not even sure if I want to do that if I even want to open the portals of Instagram and social media because I really want to tend to the projects and the different things that I have going out on now while resting while slowing down and processing and carefully deliberating the information that I have receiving all Mercury and Taurus it's motivation to get disciplined right now and that's kind of what I want to do you know that fixed um, earth <laughs> kind of be fixed in what I want to do because I have some beautiful things coming up some beautiful offerings coming up i am redoing my website and i have some new offerings on there so if you want to check that out feel free my books are not closed they're still open so if you still want to get a reading from me you could sure enough do that under so love offerings on my website zenwellnessspace.com i even rolled out um a, a new offering and it's the nurturing your needle chart dashboard um via notion and it's under the know thyself offering so you could check that out i could dive deep into your astro birth three giving you affirmations reflection questions when your you know sun moon and rising is vibing high when it's vibing low giving you all the information you need to interpret and nurture your chart besides your astro big three or outside of your astro big three so if you're interested in that you can check out zenwellnessbase.com and then 
um, just go under the tab know thyself and then another offering that I'm working on is a human design offering so stay tuned for that so that's what I'm looking forward to in this hermit mode is to get working on the human design offerings because I know that's a need and it's going to take me some time to kind of slow down and process some of this stuff I know mercury retrograde is coming up but I was born during a mercury retrograde so it's kind of my time to shine but my time to shine in the home space in the slowing down and processing things so I will be kind of doing a lot of things behind the scenes but not so much forward facing so you might not see me on YouTube feeling uh pulling cards for each human design type uh, for the next couple of weeks um but I have lots of content on there so feel free to check out YouTube and see all of the videos that I have um and yeah that's kind of what's going on and Lots, lots going on as, um, I don't know how long this hermit mode would last. If you know me, I follow my intuition and, um, we'll see how long it lasts, but, um, I have lots and lots out there, lots of soul love offerings, whether it's on YouTube or on the TikTok, which kind of, sort of, I'm playing with, or in my newsletter, my newsletter, my newsletter, my newsletter. I have been neglecting my newsletter because I've been just putting content, putting content out there. So it's time for me to nurture my newsletter and nurture those people who have subscribed and tell me that they're on board. So I have lots of good things coming out for you all soon. So if you not, if you have not signed up for my newsletter invitation to do that and in exchange for signing up for my newsletter i give a free notion dashboard that will um it's a wellness workbook that will help you decondition and reprogram your mind around wellness so you can start your intuitive wellness journey of being and feeling well so no matter what everybody says out there about wellness it's time for you to figure that out for yourself and because I listen to my intuition and my intuitive wellness journey I know it's time for me to step away so I am sending you all so much love all the love Zen wellness space you can keep up with me sign up for my newsletter all of the links are in the bio tons of YouTube videos um, available at youtube.com forward slash at Zen wellness space space so I'm around in the background in the ethers but yeah it's time for me to tend to my inner flame so that I can come out and bring out some new gifts to the collective but it's hermit time it's hermit time it's hermit time so sending you all so much love um you can also reach me via email if you don't find me on or if i don't log into instagram which i'm trying to stay away from so if you want to reach me um via email that's christine at zenwellnessspace.com so sending you all so much love and until the next time